today we're doing the final product review video for the Ripple Rug. This is the Ripple Rug. It comes in two pieces. So there's a bottom piece and then the top piece, as you can see, has Velcro in random spots on the back and then there's also a bunch of holes and the Velcro allows you to, like they're acting as if they've never seen this before. Um, the Velcro allows you to put the top rug in any way that you want. Chiggy is used to it being, I just flattened it out to uh, vacuum it, but then, because um, it's a lot easier to vacuum, and the reason I needed to vacuum it is it does a great job of collecting cat hair, which is great too, because it keeps it off of my furniture. So you can do any sort of configuration that you want, and then it's kind of like a whack-a-mole thing where they can, um, his nails are sharp right now, so, ah, and I just got it. Um, but you can use toys and uh, catnip banana and that sort of thing, so I'm going to show footage of that next. Okay, so with the holes and all that kind of stuff, they... Ripple rug becomes sort of an activity mat, if you will, and so if you've got toys, um, and you can create toys from, you know, bottle caps and all sorts of things. You don't necessarily need to have catnip toys or that sort of thing. So I've used bananas, I've used these wool balls, um, the kind of like these kicker things. Bananas, when I say bananas, I mean like catnip bananas. So here's a perfect, see how his little paws going through there? <laughs> trying to give you guys a better view. I literally just cut his nails, because he really got me. <laughs> but this is how wild he goes with this ripple rug. It is exactly what I thought he'd do. I thought this would be the cat that would love it the most of my two cats, and both of them love it. Charlie's on it a ton. He runs to it to scratch on, which he doesn't really get any traction scratching, but that's what he likes to do on it. <laughs> and I like it because Chiggy's fat right now and he needs to lose some weight, so amen to that. So the Ripple Rug is made with recycled plastic bottles. And uh, you can see that it collects loose cat hair, as I mentioned. I vacuumed it. And to vacuum it, I literally use my auric upright and run it over the two pieces together. So this is the Ripple Rug, not cleaned after about a week of use. And you can see how much cat hair is on it. So it ends up being a great cat hair collector. And all I do is literally flatten out both pieces so you can see where one rug is on top of the other. And the cats kind of do that over time. And then I run my auric upright over it to just get rid of the cat hair. You can also easily like, you know, fold it up and put it away. If you have guests coming over, it condenses down to a very smaller size. Um, so it's easy to store and we have my arrival video will show that whole thing, like how it comes is how you can, um, you know, just fold it up. It's not... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so scared of his nails right now. He nailed me right in my nail bud and it killed. So I'm trying to avoid that. So they're both always just on it. I don't know how to um, explain it, but every time we're waiting to go outside or if I'm in the kitchen, I just come around the corner and one of them is always on the ripple rug. It's got these little slats in the side. Um, so if you have a bigger kitty that gets caught, you can always cut the slats even bigger so that they can get through. But really, I haven't seen Trigger Charlie go through the slats as much. Um, let's see. <laughs> the whack-a-mole thing is like the best. This is hard to film and not get clawed at the same time. 
Get him, Chiggy. Oh, don't get my hand. He just goes wild on this thing, which is great. It's... I first saw the Ripple Rug, I think um, maybe a reader told me about it. But it's a big hit online and stuff, uh, or, you know, where I've seen lots of videos or lots of Facebook posts. Lots of readers have it and talk about how much their cats like it. So um, it, I'm going to add it to our shop online, which I haven't talked about yet, but uh, I've opened up a Floppy Cats shop, if you will, that has all of our product, or all of the products we've reviewed and liked organized into one shop. And uh, I will include a link in the about section below to that. <laughs> the banana is great because it will stick through a hole and stuff. I'm kind of scared. I'm trig right now. Oh my goodness! They've been playing together on it as well, um, but they tend not to play together when I am involved by myself. <laughs> Ready to go, Gowie. Get it. I don't see why you couldn't use this as a cat puzzle toy where you put treats underneath it or pieces of dry food if your cats eat dry food so that the cats can kind of go crazy on that as well. This Ripple Rug was sent to us by the Cat Connection in Dallas, Texas. It's a retail store in Dallas. Um, they're also an online store, and it's an awesome, awesome website. I've never been to the store, but I'm sure the store is just as cool. Where um, they feature, it's only cat stuff, and it's quality cat stuff that cat owners have used and talked about, and they're professional cat people that know you know, what products are good and that sort of thing. And I believe that the Ripple Rug is included in their kind of cat starter pack. They've got kind of like a gift bundle if you have a friend that's getting a cat um, that includes kind of their best sellers. And the Ripple Rug is one of those. So, I will include a link in the About section below to where you can buy the Ripple Rug on the Cat Connections website. I'll also include a link to that gift bundle I just mentioned. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I've been really impressed with this. It, 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 it basically delivered exactly what I expected it to. Um, lots of energy and entertainment from him. And I didn't know about the cat hair collection thing, which was a huge benefit. It's also quite large. I think it's like 47 inches by 50 inches or something like that. Um, so a lot of room for them to play. I'll include the exact dimensions in the about section as well and I don't have a problem at all um, recommending it and saying I think that your cats will like it when I first unwrapped it my cats were like what is this this is not fun <laughs> but then when I showed them it was a place to play and like started sticking the toys in and stuff then um, they kind of went wild Let's see if we can get Chiggy one more time one more time one more time look at him just waiting for it to Oh, he's just for if it goes over his Oh, but it needs to go right there. Sorry, guys, it's hard to film and watch at the same time. Oh, but it's over there. Okay, I've also done this where I kind of leave it hiding a little bit. What is that? Where is she putting that? Where is she going to put that? Excuse me! Okay, now he has to get it out of there. Let's see if he'll do it. <laughs> do not get my finger again. That sucked. I had to use hydrogen peroxide. It was bleeding. <laughs> That's my fault for playing with my hands and cats when nails are sharp. <laughs> this would have been so fun when they were kittens. I'm sure that they would have gone all over the place on it. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Oh, right. 
It comes with um, this big, big old thing that talks about safety information, cleaning instructions, how to maintain the upper carpet stiffness, and warranty. So all of this, I'm sure, is online where you can read that, but um, you can just wash it with soap and water as far as I know. Um, we haven't had any vomit or diarrhea on it, so... It says the Ripple Rug carpet is stain resistant. Um, yes, simply absorb the spills by blotting with white paper or cloth. Use soap and water as needed to remove stain. Chiggy approves of the Ripple Rug. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you.